Welcome to your Heritage Education Centre VR experience. Please look at your hands. Can you see your controllers? You'll use these to teleport and interact with items. Use the touchpad to teleport and the trigger to interact with objects. Choose which controller you would like the laser pointer to be attached to by pulling the trigger on that controller at any time. Select your name from the list in front of you. If you look around, you should see a podium with a radar device floating above it. Your first task is to teleport yourself to the podium. Great, you seem to know what you're doing. Now reach out with the controller you want to attach the radar device to. Radar equipped. That's it. This radar is going to be invaluable as you seek out objects in the challenges you'll face. It will also indicate how much time you have remaining. Here's a short overview of our organisation. Lloyd's Register Foundation is a registered independent charity. Our mission is to advance transport, engineering education and research. We're funded entirely from profits from our training arm, Lloyd's Register. Since 1760, Lloyd's Register has been active in the development of safety processes and systems, from its maritime classification origins to the global business assurance organisation it is today. This VR experience has been created for the Lloyd's Register Foundation Heritage and Education Centre. Using original archive documents and resources, we've designed a unique experience for you, highlighting the evolution of ship surveys and the changing role of the surveyor. To find out more about the centre's resources, activities and events, visit hec.lrfoundation.org.uk. We're about to send you on a series of missions to act as one of our surveyors. These will take place in three different time periods and on three different types of ship. If you succeed, we'll offer you the chance to download real survey documents from a range of famous historic ships. Good luck! Find the portal that's just opened nearby, and when you're ready, teleport into it to travel to the first ship. Welcome to the 18th century. Take a look around and above you. You're on the deck of a Dutch Galliot trading vessel. Our surveyors would have been busy here, but what would they have been looking for? Your first challenge is to find three survey targets our surveyors would be assessing. You have until the timer runs out, and don't forget to use your radar to help locate them. When you're ready to begin, hit the start button that's in front of you. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> The windlass raises and lowers the anchor through manpower. Surveyors appraise the connection to the deck and any issues with the windlass arms. The windlass arms could crack or rot, preventing arms from locating. If this happens, you could lose the ability to weigh anchor, stranding the ship. Absolutely. The ship's boat provides ship-to-shore or ship-to-ship -ship transport, or in the worst case, the lifeboat. Planking, caulking and rollocks all need assessing for wear, rot and loss of caulking. A leaking hull from planking or caulking, or power loss from rollock failure will leave the boat unusable. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes, the mast step fixes the mast to the ship. This can either be on the deck or to the keel. Surveyors are praised by looking for signs of wear, damage or rot. This is a high stress point on the ship. Under extreme conditions, deck planks can raise around the mast step, weakening it, and any rot weakens the structure. If the connection to the deck fails, the mast may fail. Well done. You achieved your objectives. The portal has opened again. Teleport into it to travel to another time. OK, we've travelled forward 100 years to the age of wood and iron composite hulls. You're in the upper cargo hold of a composite clipper ship, such as the Cutty Sark. By the mid-19th century, a new ship design emerged called composite ships. These utilised an iron frame that was reinforced by wooden planking. Composite ships became famous for their impressive speed and cargo capacity. Your second challenge is to find three survey targets that Lloyd's Register surveyors would have assessed down here in the upper and lower holds you'll be able to move to the lower hold through the hatches. Again, you'll have until the timer runs out. When you're ready to begin, hit the start button that's in front of you. Three, two, one, go! The iron frame maintains the strength, structure and shape of the vessel. Our surveyors look for cracks and breaks in the otherwise good structure. Cracks can form, usually as a result of stress or structural overload. This can ultimately lead to structural failure. Well done. Rivets join two pieces of iron together. Welding has not yet been invented. You might see loose rivets in their holes, or in extreme cases, they may have fallen out altogether. If too many are missing, the whole integrity could become compromised. Ultimately, this can lead to structural failure. remaining. Yes, the outer planking provides the ship's buoyancy by keeping water out. It's appraised by looking for signs of missing or worn caulking, leaking, rotten or damaged planking. If the planking or caulking is compromised, the hull leaks. This can cause flooding and ultimately sinking. Well done. You achieve your objectives. Teleport through the portal to time travel once more. OK, you're back in the present day. You're on the bridge of a commercial vessel. Modern ships are far more complex than ships of old, and surveys can take a few weeks to examine all the onboard structures, machines and systems. In your final challenge, you'll need to locate three survey targets on the bridge. If you succeed in the last mission, and you've supplied an email address, you'll be sent a link to download documents of famous Lloyd's Register ships. 
Once again, you'll have until the timer runs out. When you're ready to begin, hit the start button that's in front of you. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Yes, the life-saving appliance cupboard, or LSA, stores pyrotechnics. There should be 12 flares present in all. Surveyors need to check that the LSA is always fully stocked. Pyrotechnics help surviving crew to be found if they must abandon ship. So, failure to keep the LSA full could ultimately put lives at risk. Well done. Display glass protects the instrument underneath. Issues are spotted visually, as you've done. There's plenty that could potentially go wrong, such as equipment underneath the glass being exposed to moisture. Performance of the instruments could be impacted, potentially providing incorrect information to the pilot. <laughs> This one's very important. The gyroscopic compass is the main source of information, but a magnetic compass doesn't need electricity, so is the backup. It's important to check and ensure they're both giving the same north. Plenty of things can go wrong here. Worn bearings in the gyro can slow it down slightly, giving an inaccurate heading. Magnetic compasses can be poorly calibrated for magnetic variation. If these two don't match up, you don't really know your true direction. Well done. You achieve your objectives. Congratulations on completing all three missions. Here's your final score and a breakdown of your performance. You can see how you performed against others by taking a look at the leaderboard outside of the VR experience. If you've provided an email address, we'll now send you a link where you can choose to download digitized documents from Lloyd's Register's most famous and noteworthy ships. The reason we're able to offer online access to these historic documents is because of the work the Heritage and Education Center's digitization programs that will see over 1 million documents digitized and made available for free on the center's website. Thank you for participating in our VR experience, exploring the changing roles of our surveyors. You can now remove the headset. <laughs>